Welcome back to Geek Show Help Desk. Helping Woo-hoo! you help us help oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got ourselves quite the crew today. Slid right into your DMs. You Could... either love me or you hate me. I'm Is James. That a baseball... <laughs> Is that a baseball pun, James? Because I don't know. Uh, that's something be Lando coming. would do, who is not yeah. here tonight because oh. of a baseball game. Oh, a baseball yeah. game. Well, the Padres are playing tonight. Yeah. He go dodged this pun. game, didn't he? There's another pun right there. Boom. James, oh, James feels guys. like he's all. Oh. What? Sorry. Oh, I thought James <laughs> I was, was going to come I in with my Lando defense. impression. I, I thought James <laughs> was going to come in with some defense. That's not how it went. No, no, no. No, no, no I don't good. care. You can't no. say anything that hurts my feelings. <laughs> like, Got him. Got you're already at rock bottom. You can't go lower. Owen, what's up? He thought you were going to defend Lando, to yeah, which I, I also were, said, I, nah, he's not going to do that. Yeah, I thought you were coming to some no, I, defense for Lando, but nope. No, I freaking love Landon, don't get me wrong, but making fun of him is, like, it's it's my baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Geek Show Help Desk, where we talk about tech gadgets and science-adjacent things. Let's kick it off by introducing the rest of our panel. You already heard from James, he's here today, covering yep. for Lando... Yep. Yep. And we got covering for Jaron, who's got family crap tonight. It's Lang. Let's see. The script says insert pause here. Three, yep. two. Hey, I'm Lang. There you go. Um, I feel like Jaron's here. Jaren. Yep. There you go. <laughs> find like... me yep. for the theme today. We'll do go find me on Skyfire Photo PDX. And we'll be talking about drones later. And find me there. All right, and then our stalwart vanilla base. It's Owen. Can't, I can't change, so I'm always here. Rain or shine, COVID, not death door, doesn't matter. Death doesn't matter. door, I'm here. I got nowhere else to be. So, <laughs> hey, that's not true. You got you got the Wolf's Lodge. I got I got I do love it here though. So, okay, oh, uh, you can find me here. That's where you'll find me on here and on the Help Desk Arcade, uh, along with our host. His name's Tony. Hey, that's me. Check you're me right, out on right. the Twitter at Quad T Tony. I've been slacking on my tweets lately. I need to get back on it. Uh, and on other Geek Show podcast things. Ta da. All right. Uh, let's kick it off with, you know it, email time. All right. Yes. All right. We have an email from none other than Twyman. He says, oh. Hello, Gadgeteers. Hi. Got a question for the what? podcast, and as much as I find the guests and random spastic drop-in folks interesting, let's keep this to the regular, quote, adult, end quote, panel members. Only All right, Tony everybody calm down. This one's for oh, me. We're out. This one's for Only this Tony, one's... Jaron, Owen, and Squinky. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, he wow. went there. Oh, I feel attacked. Got says on Lando and you. But I recently <laughs> picked up a small electric motorcycle for my eight-year-old. One item it has is a built-in Bluetooth speaker. Unfortunately for heck? my child, I'm not a cool parent that has given him his own cell phone yet. So I'm looking for something I can put some of his favorite music on uh, that can connect and stream on his bike. The cheaper, the better. Doesn't need a ton of storage. just enough for a dozen songs or so. Worst case, I'll connect my mini disc to a Bluetooth transmitter and let him make do. No, don't <laughs> sacrifice your mini disc player for this. It deserves better. Twyman. They don't skip, Tony. They don't skip. I know. They're such cool tech. Thanks again, gents. And hopefully limiting this to the regular panel kept the riffraff out of the discussion. <laughs> Twyman. All right. Down, he didn't know I was going to be on this or else he wouldn't have said that. I think I think no. he had an inkling, <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it feels specifically geared towards Lando. Oh, it's definitely pointed in his direction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got a big Lando so side. This is, card, you know. it's an electric bike for an eight-year-old with electric a Bluetooth motorcycle. speaker. Yeah, I guess it's got a built-in Bluetooth speaker. Could you imagine how cool we would have been if we were Dude, at eight? Oh, every kind of every single e-bike I see with a teenager riding on it, I'm just like, oh, the bones I would have broken and the idiot <laughs> I would have been if I would have had those. See, and I'm oh. I'm in the other direction where I'm looking at kids on e-bikes and thinking, your parents are doing you a disservice because you don't have to use your own legs to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. No. You're just like, being lazy this is now. like Wally. Got we're just going to have all no... Them. Yeah, we're going to have little sausages just rolling around. There's no... But no, this is different. Uh, this is a motorcycle, not a bicycle. So 
Um, I did some research a little bit here and there earlier today. I snuck in and read the emails early, or at least this one. I didn't read Arcades yet. Sorry, Cheater. Arcade. Um, and I was right in my suspicion. There is a really neat little um, device that Sa SanDisk makes it, and they've been making it for years. I had two of them, SanDisk Clips. And the current generation ones that you can get for anywhere from 30 to 45 bucks have Bluetooth built into them now. So you just you load up the songs you want. It's got a little screen and physical controls, and you, you stream your music on it with that. So, so it's like an itty-bitty shuffle with the screen, kind of? Uh-huh, exactly. Mm. That's cool. And hmm. I think remember they're those, pretty Remember rad. the iPad na iPod Nanos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that? Yep. Heck yeah, but, dude. But it's like... Yeah, it's only like an inch and a half tall and maybe mm -hmm. three quarters or an inch wide. Um, so there, that's the one I would recommend because of all the ones I saw, that's the only one that I recognize brand wise. Everything else, I mean, you could you could go with another one if you want, but I can't I can't vouch for any of the quality of all the Chinese ones out there because there's dozens of other brands. All I did was uh, Google uh, Bluetooth MP3 player. And there are tons and tons of options there. But like I said, I'd probably go with the SanDisk um, option. Oh, it's 32 gigs. So you have plenty plenty of space for at least a dozen songs time and at least. Just get it. Depending on the song. Just go, just go get an old cell phone and just don't put data on it or don't give it data. That's another and, option too. And, yeah, if you got an iPod Touch around right here now. somewhere. Just get it. Get it. Go go to like eBay or something. Go get some whatever cheapy cell phone. Yeah, go to the Goodwill or DI. Wherever. Yeah, right. Find a find a cell phone. Don't put data on it. Just connect it to Bluetooth and load some songs on via the USB port, and away you go. That'll work as well. They might not be quite as robust as these clips. These little clips. Yeah, for sure. Know. Not meant for that. You could get a case though, or but, something. But yeah. They're also anyway. Anyway, so that's yeah, idea with my got my kid. My kid there. got uh, my kid got my old Pixel, or no, my old one, uh, one plus. Mm -hmm. My kid's got my old one plus, and I just that doesn't have any data. Yeah, so I a little tablet. I made an account. Well. I made a I made a separate Google account to register it because you have to with Android devices, and I threw a few games on there, and they can only use it offline. So like yeah. they, and then I put it, and then if you want to even go farther, like I did, I put it. I created a YouTube family or a Google, whatever, Google family account, and then you can lock it down completely so they can't get on the YouTube app and you can't use all the stuff, so it's all completely locked down. Even when take it's that on Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, take that, my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. Did you <laughs> did you program your tomato in on it? No, no tomatoes. No tomatoes at all. All right. Well, anyway. There you go. Thanks for writing in, Twyman. And, uh, yeah, you got a few options there to, to choose from. Now, moving along to the stories. Uh, file this under. File this under. This looks neat. It is a article I found on VideoCards.com, which ironically is not an article about a video card, but, but it's a product called Ling Long. And Ling Long. That sounds racist. Mm. It's a, well, I should say the company is Ling Long, and the product is called the Lunar Mini PC. And what makes this cool is it's a little PC that is built into a keyboard. Yeah. And the keyboard folds. So oh, you can fold cool. it up, drop it in your bag, or your, or you, if you got Jinkos, your pockets. And, uh, <laughs> and those and, are coming back, by the way. I know. I've seen it. It's sure they are, but I can't believe but... it. Can't oh, they are. It comes with a full on uh, Ryzen 8890 APU. Great, great. Uh, Power sipping. Yeah, so you just, you just, there. You, just un, you just unfold this bad boy and yep. then hook up like a. It's got like an HDMI port. Is that how it? Yeah, yeah. It's got all it's the ports. Anything? It's got built-in Wi-Fi, sixteen or thirty-two gigabytes of RAM, fifty-nine watt-hour battery. So you actually don't even have to have it hooked up to power if you don't want. Whoa. What's the price tag on that? Uh, it is currently. Oh, I said it was an eighty-eight ninety. It's eighty-eight forty U. That's that's right. the correct term. Eighty-eight Still forty. Okay. That's the same yeah. one that they put in a lot of the gaming handhelds. Yeah. You know, so yep. it's, uh, now what did it? Got a couple of options. Five, you can come 579 with... during the crowdfunding oh. campaign. Is that the 16 gig or the 30 gig? That's for the gig. 16. Okay. The 32 is going to be um, a little bit more. 739 for the 32 yeah. gig 
one terabyte SSD versus Ooh, five seventy nine for sixteen gig five twelve yeah. SSD. So yeah, I've 15, been looking at some things 15, like this. Fifteen watt Ryzen seven. That's not a bad. Oh, you, little... you can do all your regular computing on there. You yeah. Know? I mean, you could even do some very light gaming if you wanted. So. Depending on what resolution you hook the screen up to, or what resolution screen. Oh, you hook this to. is pretty cool. <sighs> See, things it's like this keep coming compact. out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I could even type on that keyboard, but I it got looks like big. It's not a full length, right? It looks like a seventy percent, maybe yeah. a sixty-five. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think I don't think you have too much problem. Hmm. Anyway, hmm. I just saw that and I thought, now that's cool. That's the kind of stuff that, like. When you were younger, you'd see science fiction shows doing. And this was like, the click. This was the kind of stuff that we would see, and now it's a reality. You know, yeah. very so, cool, crazy. I indeed, like it. Indeed. Um, let's see. Let's talk about uh, 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 some drones. How about that? Ooh. So we'll talk about. It's the first article, right? The. Yep. We can't have nice Chinese things give us a replacement then. So this last month, it has been extremely difficult with drones, and it's really been ticking me off. Um, lawmakers have now passed laws that anybody in the infrastructure biz with the government cannot get any Chinese manufactured drones. Hmm. Ironically, all the drones that we have in the government now are due to be re-upped because FAA is also passing laws that they need the new modules or they need to be up to standard. They can't do that since the lawmakers now have passed saying, no, you can't have those now. But there's no American manufacturer that yeah, can keep say, up with DJI. The, yeah, who's yep. the U.S. competitor to DJI? None. Sounds like, Nobody really sounds like a great... It sounds like a great business opportunity, but you're going to nope. pay more for those parts here. There's there's ramp even, up, there's way too much ramp up time involved to, to yeah, get up right. to them. So you this have is, people that are trying to like compete with DJI, they still suck too. Right? They yeah. do. And they're even going to the point where there's a number of counties that have gone so is just basically banning drones, period, in Fairfax and near D.C. Because they're just... They say DJI and any Chinese manufacturers are just going to use them as spy information, which I see where they're coming from. But that seems like a loophole. Seems like a convenient reason to just be like, we don't like drones yeah. fly, flying around. So I'm pretty hmm. miffed at this because personally, um, I was mentioning to Tony that last week or the week before now, I just passed my 107. For those of you that don't know what a 107 is, I can now yeah. dry, fly my drone commercially. But stuff like this is just, it's its kind of making it unworth it now because they keep ramping up more and more rules, which we'll bring up later. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty ticked about this and very concerned on how DJI is going to get. They've already put, you have to have certain modules and identifiers for each drone and registrations, which I get, but this this is stupid this is really dumb on their end hmm. boo so, boo yeah, to I'm, them well the thing about it too is i'm pretty i could have sworn i read an article too that said they ripped apart a bunch of the dji stuff that is oh yeah uh, they, available here and they didn't find anything nothing it was at debunked. all in there yep. that indicated that that there was any like oh it's definitely around foul play how, it definitely is around the homing of the updates and the servers homing back to to Chinese sources, because yeah, there's but, no, because I mean, there's nothing now then, doesn't yeah. mean that there's doesn't mean that there can't be some firmware sent later. It's true. It's true. Like I tried That's to true. when I first got my DJI, oh flip, I forget what it's called. Um, it's the one with the goggles. It's meant more for like racing. The um, FPV. Yeah, the FPV. FPV. Uh, FPV. I wish yeah. I. It was right before the Avada came out. That's the smaller one, right? That they advertise yeah. in like Zion yeah. Canyons or something I'm like that. I'm still I'm still wanting to get an FPV versus the Avada, but we can talk about that another time. Um but uh so I got it and then they have a thing cuz they sell a special controller with it, like a little like hand controller. And I installed software on my computer and it got flagged by our IT team mm -hmm. for that software. Yeah. yeah. So and this was like probably freaking 3 years ago, 4 years ago, something like that. Mm. Yep when it came out 
So the U.S. government is doing some pretty big knee-jerk reactions when drones are becoming the biggest thing. All the bigger companies are using them for deliveries and all the infrastructure and everything. Oh, I, think I see. Really... They got to clear the skies. Well, I think there's some. Do we put on the tinfoil hat and be like, "Well, bring somebody's it, got some, somebody's got some ulterior motives here." What drones are they going to use? Are they U.S. made? No, that's they the don't, thing. That's there's the there's thing. nothing they don't else. Have anything. There's nothing yeah. else that they're going to so replace this it is with. Gonna, so this is going to. So this is going to necessitate Bezos making a U.S. made drone, right? You're still years off, though. No, no way. way. Bezo oh, yeah. Bezos. Bezos will just cordon off. Bezos will just cordon off a small, fact, a small four acre part of one of his factories and <laughs> set it to making drones yeah. and he'll have you them have up. to you have to design the drones uh -huh. and you have no, to no you don't you no, just gotta that's take, not how bezos you just gotta stuff. take you just gotta take <laughs> these gonna, guys okay. he's gonna pull he's gonna, he's gonna do what he's gonna do what the chinese do like the chinese already have like patents like if you if you build there you have to give them your ip and everything and then they just clone it so we just gotta take a page out of that book and like yeah, reverse Bezos, flip that right i'm gonna have yeah. to have you uh take your tinfoil hat off because it's baked your brain a little i know bit it's i Sorry, left bud. it on too long and i walked out in the sun <laughs> and then uh, amplified the microwave so <laughs> it's so hot it melted everything underneath i don't know i think mm -hmm. i think the technology is already there the design mm -hmm. has been there's a proven design they don't even have to try that hard like you like yeah, what can what can DJI patent other than like the the software? Well, it just depends on how much you want to infringe on the patents. Who cares? You know? It's that, uh, they're over there. The that's what they say. That's the question, you know. And we're shutting them out. So, I guarantee you there will be a US drone company that is a clone of DJI in the next year and a half. No way! Bet, Ooh, bet. somebody I'll put some it, money on it. it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, will you take I that. Bet, I will bet against that. I You're gonna bet, bet against? No way! I, I have bet. no money to bet. bet. I'll bet I have no lunch. money. I'm gonna take James. Uh, James is gonna go in for me on this. He's gonna bet some. Hello. Land. And um. Oh, please take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna up it to two years. Within two years, we will oh, have a U.S. It's only six more months. I just wanted to be a round number. Don't you start here. We go this. Here we go. What's worth the most? Here, what's worth the most, Owen? I would bet like Halo profiles. Uh, <laughs> you don't want my How profile. Much do you, yeah, I do. I want y'all take yours. We'll switch. My, my my profile is garbage. People just be like, quit, <laughs> quit, you quit playing. Install this game. <laughs> quit. You're the worst. <laughs> oh, here comes <laughs> Octopus. Yeah. Oh, jeez. How did you get? How did you even play his this arms game? around? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm trying yeah. my best. You got stuck in the corner again. Yep. I just run against the wall. They're like, what an idiot. I had my, own, I told you guys, I had my own guys on my own team teabagging me when I died. What did uh, you do to him? Nothing. I just bad. Oh, I'm just okay. bad. I just, I just, I just, all I did was fire uh -huh. a rocket into my own face three times in uh -huh. a row. Oh, only three times. With, yeah, I spawned with it, killed myself, spawned with it, killed myself. It was just a bad game, okay? Everybody has those. Okay. Listen, we back. played Maybe games for escape. Yeah, you don't want it. <laughs> Uh, so, I, you know, one more time, one more time, and the game would have kicked me out, thinking I was doing it on purpose. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so you US super weren't. Pull your heads out. No. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Lang. The government has far more important things they need to be worrying about than DJI Chinese drones. Infiltration. Yeah. You know, it's anything so. to take the anything anything to pull the news cycle. Yep. Or anything change to the, distract from what's distract really important. To what's going on? You know? Yeah. Somebody just right. feel a hand come up my skirt? Oh, it's the government. Nope. Okay, cool, oh, cool, 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 cool. There's no, a hand up my skirt, that, but they're taking other, away drones. Because this other hand over here is tapping your shoulder, so you didn't feel yeah. that other hey. thing. So, yep. But this other one's tickling. Nope. You didn't hey, Tony, it. we should do my segment next. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good segue. Good segue. Yep. Let me have you yes. boost your mic some, Lang. It got quiet. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just my headset. No, no. Did you do it? I didn't know Lang was going to be on this episode, or else I would have done him too. Oh, that's all right. We can get him on this next go around. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yo. Okay, so this. You want to you want to preface this? Uh, yeah. Thing? So um, there's a lot of things that I should be doing with my day today <laughs> that I don't want to be doing. So I ended up. I knew I was at some point in time going to come back on the uh, podcast and say hi. 
and sometimes I miss all y'all's voices. So I figure I just, uh, so I downloaded 13, well, actually that isn't even the starting point. The starting point was I listened to Arcade this last week before my daughter's birthday because I knew Landon was going to be there. And he said, um, 75 times in an episode, 75 uh, times. It's probably because um, he was hosting. So he had to try and keep a little bit of filler. Land- Lando yeah. did? His crutch yeah. word. Yeah. Um, so uh, I already had that episode on hand. So I downloaded 12 more, uh, had them um, <laughs> transcribed, fed them into chat GPT. And uh, uh, we, we ended up we uh, getting, what, what is it? Two minutes worth of uh, a here, brand here, new unheard two, of podcast. Two and 47 here we go. Seconds. Here we go. I think uh, James, you need to do some more data, data mining for us. You need to, okay. G- by person, by panelist, okay. you need to say what the most used word is Done. by panelist. And oh, I actually already have that. Oh. Tony is oh. CPU. Jaron is... Oh, well, does it count if it's said under his breath? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's F.U. Landon. Uh, oh. Owen is give up, but in different contexts. Mm, um, that tracks. Nice. Go ahead and uh, play the audio, Tony. Okay, I don't go. think that's right. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Who left all the snacks in the studio last time? I think it's pretty obvious. Oh, and you've got Cheeto dust all over your keyboard. It's like a crime scene in here. Laughs guilty as charged. But hey, those Cheetos were research snacks, you know, for uh, morale. I'm just saying the way you morale involves five bags of chips and an empty pizza box. It's impressive in a way. See, Jaron gets it. Speaking of morale, Tony, how's that new gadget you were raving about? Is it living up to the hype? Or was it another Tony special disappointment? <laughs> Whoa. Hold on there, Captain Judgment. It's performing exactly as expected, unlike my patience when dealing with all this banter. Uh, Tony's getting sassy. Someone mark the calendar. This is a first. <laughs> ha ha. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that Tony has more passion for his gadgets than his morning coffee? Hey, some things deserve passion, like gadgets and good tech and... Uh, and apparently arguing with us. All right, let's reel it in before Tony mutinies. What's on the agenda next? Oh, please. Like he'd survive a mutiny. He'd miss his own gadgets too much. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably get distracted by the tech we use to overthrow him. Hmm. You know what? You're all just jealous of my tech superiority. But it's okay. I understand. Pauses. Now, who's going to clean up this Cheeto dust? <laughs> you know what, Tony? If you spent half as much time cleaning up as you do lecturing us, the studio would be spotless. Haha, <laughs> Landon, you're really on a roll today. I gotta admit, <laughs> it's kind of impressive. Why, thank you, Jaron. You know, it's nice to be appreciated for a change. Maybe we should start a Landon Appreciation Club. What do you say? Only if I'm the vice president. You seem like you'd run a tight ship. Oh, here we go. Can you two save this little love fest for after the show? We've got tech <laughs> to discuss. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm grabbing popcorn. This is way better than my Cheetos drama. See, Jaron gets me. It's about organization, control. A little appreciation goes a long way. You mean like when I appreciate your uh, creative attempts to keep us on topic? Oh, now you're just flirting, Jaron. Careful. People might start talking. Let them talk. Great duos are always the center of attention. <laughs> Winks. Ugh, did we just enter some weird <laughs> rom-com subplot? Someone please change the topic before I get a cavity. Too late, Tony. I am so here for this. Landon and Jaron, the tech love saga. We need theme music and a montage. Calm down, Owen. This is a tech show, not a soap opera. But you know, Landon, if it were a soap opera, I'd watch it. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing, but let's save the sweet talk for after the episode. Oh, man, he didn't say no. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment here. (laughs) Can we just talk about the new VR headset or something? Fine, fine, back to tech. But Jaron, we'll continue this later. You can count on it, Captain. There you go. I wow. I programmed it to like oh, I, be a regular show with banter, but then I also wanted them to slowly fall in love with each other. <laughs> no, hold on. How much? How much of that was actually your scripting that you wrote, and did you just give it, or did you just give it creative control I, of the dude, uh, topic? Do you know how much I? I am way too lazy to like write that actually, long of a script. Mm, There's I, th- no I was going to say. I was going to say that's probably an 800 word script or more. I don't mm-hmm. know that you could have done that. About. So yeah. yeah, yeah. The cadences are creepily right on. Yeah. That, <laughs> but the timing. If, it, it reminds me of an episode of Rick and Morty, like when somebody's been taken over <laughs> and they're like, no, that is yep. what I am talking about. Yep. You shall not do that. I, I was gonna say, don't know how to read directly off of a 
page. The, I was the, say, the speaking. Tony, your voice at the beginning of that sounded like a mixture of you and Uncle Squink a little bit. Yeah, it was it was kind of off. Ah. But what it I noticed is as it progressed, oh yeah, I feel like the voices got closer. And oh, is the, that second hand, the second hand, the second hand embarrassment one sounded spot on. Yeah, like, is that <laughs> is that because we got used to it, or did it just improve? I as think the it thing learned as it was going. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It was I, really... I can tell you, having listened to it as many times as I did, because I did have <laughs> to. So like, I went in and I generated just because it would be easier for me. So I had four tabs open. All I used was ChatGPT and 11 labs for the voices. And so I went line by line, like, so copy Tony's line, generated Tony's, downloaded. Uh, next, if it was Jaren, uh, did Jaren, downloaded. So that way in the downloads, they would all be in sequential order. So all they'd have to do is just click and drag oh, them and bring okay. them to audition. And so you did. Uh, so so you went in chronological order of the script. So by the time this we got to the end, it had already been generating our voices quite a bit. Uh, That's why. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, That's really I think cool. that Lando That's and terrifying. Jaren sounded the most realistic. Lando was the whole yeah, time. Lando. I think he speaks in a higher register than a lot of us here on the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah. And what are you it, talking about? It makes it it just makes it easier to that I think that mid frequency makes it a little bit easier to catch the cadence because they're more dramatic I, ups and downs. I thought you Yours was cloned perfectly, Owen. Out of everybody, also, yours by far. I think yeah. Owen's the first third. I was like, eh, but but the second, you know, the second and third segments. As I got used I to it. Were really close. Yeah. As, yeah. I, as I my voice, as my on. voice sucked the life out Jaren, of the eye. Jaren was yeah. spot on. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jaren had the most <laughs> um, isolated, clean audio. Oh. He had the least amount that was talked over. I will tell you that that was fed because of the pauses. Yeah. So it's well, it just yeah. and, and he, like in terms of paragraphs, he by far had the most paragraphs of just talking. That's hmm. no shade thrown. What interesting? Hold because on. interesting. <laughs> Vindicated. <laughs> I'm just speaking easy objectively. Dashboard. Easy. <laughs> I just summoned a whole generation. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I feel like I'm listening to a Spider-Man Two album now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, 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 funny. Mm. all right that that's pretty mm. neat so you're gonna do it again he said you wanted mm. to do it again and i'm gonna give you a bunch of uh audio files you're gonna give me are, nothing but clean yeah just clean separate audio files for each panelist oh because you've got them track by track yeah right? i have stream yard i have way, and then what i'm gonna look for with that is much. just um inflections and waveform yeah because like tony's oh, was very monotone Mm -hmm. And I want to get your excitement or your sadness. <laughs> Whatever yeah. I want to take, what you'll give me. I'll be just take. I want, just but I want. To, I want one. a top word count. I do. I want a top word count. I want to know if I say a lot of us or. Well, whoever hosts the, the episode has or, the top word count. Usually, mm -hmm. is is how that goes. But no, not I mean, necessarily. Like, I, mean, I mean, most used word. Like, is oh, it? Uh, oh, what's your? Word. What's your? I see what you're saying. Yes, yeah, top oh, yeah. top word usage. Like, what is your? What is your fallback? Like we learned that Lando's is, um, um. right? Mine's probably like, oh, oh, <laughs> you know? oh. whatever tur uh, sound a turtle makes when it goes back into its shell, mm -hmm. oh. which is just kind of like, oh. yeah, <laughs> Lang, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, I want yeah. one. Just do one of all the in between, please. That's what I want. <laughs> That's where you'll get the most excitement is from the that in between would, files. That's true. That's where the most. That's where the most comes out. Those would well, be some all very one, different inflections. It's well, that's the thing. It's each of these is all one long audio file for each person. So the in between will you be go, in there. If you go back in the archive, James, and get some of you from when you were on weekly, when and, I used to have uh, life inside of me. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> that's the maybe one. it'll spark. Maybe it'll spark something back alive. You know? Oh, like, it won't. Uh, I've tried a lot of things. Like all mushrooms. Spark. Get a little. You know. The all How's spark. Your... Did you just? Did you just tell them to? Just, yeah, transformers it up. You know, I love those series. Summon another generation right there, right. and uh, you should do that. All spark can bring back Prime. Oh, you yeah, got inner city you... gang, James. I think you should do Boy. it. So that's who you just transformed into. That's right. Yeah. Boom. Free Look talk, at that. Free talk, free talk. Oh, free talk. Owen, free you're a punk. Punk A B. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Can't Before you get your hair canceled, we're like going to move on to the next topic. Um, <laughs> Got any records? Got any grapes? 
records. Uh, Epic has won a big court decision against Google. And it's similar to what they won against Apple, but like way, way more in favor of Epic. So you think they, that you think that uh, they just didn't put up as good of a fight? I have no idea why it got. They're just running so out of steam. So Everybody's trying to sue them. Google, uh, basically, Epic was suing Google, saying that uh, the Android Store is an illegal Android App Store is an illegal monopoly, just like they did with Apple and that uh, they need to open it up. And they got some massive concessions out of this. Um, I, as, a, as, a, as a prediction here, I bet it's because you can already sideload stuff onto Google and they didn't maybe. have that. They didn't have that, we know it's best and we're doing this for the security of our, of our customers leg to stand on maybe. That, that Apple tried or did. So they the ruling came down. These are the these are the highlights uh, starting November first, and this goes into effect for oh, it's in the next sentence. Uh, starting November first, twenty twenty four, and ending November first, twenty twenty seven. So it goes three, three year years. Thing? Google must stop requiring Google Play billing for apps distributed on the Google Play Store. That was also done to Apple. The jury found that Google had illegally tied its payment system to its app store. Next, let Android developers tell users about other ways to pay from within the Play Store. Apple did. They didn't get this from Apple. Did uh, they? I think Apple had to allow for them to tell you how to but pay no, within but no the links. app. They had right. they had to be able to do it within their app. But no, but no, but no links store. that sent you outwards. I think they won that piece too. Oh, okay. Let Android developer link to ways to download their yeah. apps outside of the Play Store. Let Android developers set their own prices for apps irrespective of Play billing. So I didn't know that they mm. didn't have price control uh, based around Play billing stuff. But anyway, Google also cannot share app revenue with, quote, with any person or entity that distributes Android apps or plans to launch an app store or app platform. So if you remember, if I uh, and if I'm remembering correctly, Apple can charge another fee to the new app stores that are going in. Like in a the double EU. dip, right? Yeah, like a double dip kind of situation. Right. They're kind of like the Kindle's app store, you know, Amazon Kindle, how it like kind of linked to Google's app store until they split it like they finally they split it i think and stopped that and made its own kindle store but before like the kindle was just an android device and you could just go to the google play store and hmm. do whatever but uh also uh, they cannot offer developers money or perks to launch their apps on the play store exclusively or first i feel like that's, why that's, that's a that, weird one that's that's anti-capitalistic yeah i was gonna say if Friggin' game which developers is, can do well, that. I was with gonna their say, platform. which is funny because Epic does that right now with the Epic Game Store. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> but to be fair, there is a lot more competition <laughs> on the game launcher front in the PC land. So, uh, cannot offer developers money or perks not to launch their apps on rival st stores. Cannot offer device makers or carriers money or perks to pre-install the Play Store cannot offer device makers or carriers money or perks not to pre-install rival stores. So they're basically just really trying to level the playing field here uh, according to what they are can seeing you, here. Can you imagine getting a Samsung or any other device that's not a Google device that doesn't have the Play Store already well, loaded, the whole Google suite already here's, loaded on an Android device? Well, no, they well, can still the government... do that. They can still do that. They just can't. They can't pay a carrier or a device maker to have that be the only app right. store, you know? So if the oh, carrier wants to put another one on, they can. Um, now the big one though, that, that isn't on this list. It's er earlier in the, uh, in the article here is Google ha has to distribute rival third party app stores from within Google play. No way. Yep. They have to be able to download the rival app stores from Google Play, not force them to go out to a different website and sideload the app store. Is there that's, a list of is there a the list big... of third party play app stores are? Like I don't even know any others besides Samsung has one. Okay. So there's one more. Yeah. 
but I don't like. I just can't imagine third party app stores that I are think out they're there. They're going to start popping up just like they, they have will now with for Apple sure in the EU. Right. Yeah, that true. was the really big one that made me go. That is a concession. I don't think Apple had to make. That's right. interesting. Um. Some so, lawyer yeah. just lost his job over this. I guarantee it. I bet it was a couple of lawyers lost their job over this over here, over there at Google, because this that is, is only in the one. EU, though, huh? Yep. Yeah. It says, and it must give rival app, rival, rival third party app stores access. This is the other one. It must give them access to the full catalog of Google Play apps. So not only. Does they Google have to Play distribute. have to distribute the other app store, but they also have to let that other app store use all the apps already in the Google Basically, app store. their private app store becomes open source at that point? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what Basically, it is. Basically. For three years. Is that and, enough and for, for Google to be like, F it, we're a, not doing it here anymore? Is this nah. a penalty? Is it a penalty that they're doing this? Is, is this sort of it's it's supposed to be? It sounds this, like it with the time frame. Yeah. Well, yeah. This I think, Somebody's I think going they, through a bad breakup? I think they put it as a penalty because, or I mean, as a three-year window because that's how long they decided it would take for the other app stores to ramp up to foster and be uh, actually right. competitive to competitive. So and so three then years, after though. that, they don't have to abide by these rules, but the belief oh. probably is that those app stores will be up and on their feet now and can support themselves without that. So, yeah, this looks like a, a solution looking for a problem. Like, I don't know what I, I just, I guess I just don't know who was complaining that these third party app store, that's, Epic, that's who Ep, did that. Epic is the Epic as a third party app store. Like, are they? They want to. Be, they want to be able to have their now. own third party game store on there, just like they have on Windows, which is fine. But this sounds more. And they also want, I'm sure, more competition for other mm. platform, other. So game by store, app stores, stores app stores by definition is also being called game launchers. Then too, right? Uh, we're gonna, more that, like they, if we're like talking the other about way around, Epic, I think. Game launchers are being called an app store. At this yeah, point. game launchers are being called an app store. So that makes way more sense, right? Like, because yeah. now all these other, now all these EA, mm -hmm. all of those could put their app launcher on there and, and bypass yep. Google. Yep. Kind of sets the stage for cloud gaming a lot more, right? Like through your phone or whatever. You could, because if you could get to the EA marketplace and then install the game on your phone, when that game is probably not hosted directly on the marketplace, yeah. you know, yep. who knows? We'll see. But yeah, that was interesting. A big, one. big one this week that I found. Um, all right. Are they, um, are they, are they going to try and, I mean, I don't know if they have the same legal system here. Are they trying to, I'm sure uh, get oppose it. Yeah. Appeal sure it. Get appealed. I, I thought I that they didn't out. have a very good appeal system over there. It was kind of just like a, Hey, can you re-review this and see if it's okay? Can you not do this? Well, I didn't think they had an appeal. Oh no! It says here in the like thirtieth paragraph, Google already promised to appeal the verdict. Yeah. So I was going to say, there's no way so, they're not going to appeal. It, and that, it's and so. it's now apparently looking for an immediate stay. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Interesting hmm. stuff there. That is definitely not how I thought it would go. You think Google yeah. and you think money and you think they're not. There's no way they're going to lose this badly. But that's. I'm I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious if any more deep dark secrets came out in Discovery, like it did when <laughs> Epic and Apple went to battle. Remember all the emails and all the yeah. stuff that came out. Like stuff. in order to in order to make these claims and to get these concessions from the judge, there had to be evidence that they were actually willfully doing it, right? Like that they knew and. Well, I don't know if they had to have. I don't yeah. think so. I mean, the fact that it exists in the way it is is evidence enough. Especially True. if you it was a precedent with Apple, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, all right. Um, oh, and let's talk about which one do you want to talk about? Your uh, Reddit one or the Ram you know slot what? one? Let's do, I like the Ram one a little bit more. This is weird. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I so, saw this yeah. too. I, I was going to bring this up to my two favorite PC game nerds, PC builder nerds. Which is right you here. and Jaren. Nope, James, yeah. you don't count. <laughs> what um, do I count as? <laughs> you're, you know what? You count as a lot of things, just not that. And I'll give you a Why does your later. voice get higher when you talk to me? That's eh, weird. Because hey, I'm buddy. Trying to, just trying to make you feel like you're, you're good, <laughs> bud. <laughs> um, so Tom's Hardware has a story out that I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I never thought about this. But apparently, you know, when you have four RAM dims, 
Is that what they call them? Dims, right? Dim slots. Dim sum. Dim slots. Dim sum. Dim slots on your motherboard, and they're paired, right? Yep. Uh, so two A channels and two B channels. Two A, two B, and you always fill the same channels, right? You don't put one yeah, in you each. Don't put, you you right. match them in pairs. Yep. Typically, people not wanting to fill all their slots or to I hear that phrasing. Uh, people <laughs> not wanting to overload their their system or spend too much in RAM, they'll get like a two 16 gig chips and call it good, right? Yep. 32 That's gigs. Mine is, right? Oh, yeah. no, I forgot. I got it. it it's more elegant. And it doesn't make it look as busy in there eights. instead yeah. of four eights or you get two 16s or you can even get two 32s. People will do because you tend to get a better price per well megabyte or gigabyte. On, that's what I was going to say. Price per megabyte. Go ahead. Yeah. And, and not only that, um, overclocking works better when it's only With one just channel two. in use yeah, versus right. two channels. So, so what they found, uh, this guy called Dur eight hours. Debauer. Debauer. I don't know that name, but I'm glad he's you a, did. He's a big time overclocker. Overclock nerd, right? Yep. Like hardcore. Yeah. Um, so what he found was that the empty dims, the empty dim slots on, on the motherboard raised up those little copper prongs that interface with the RAM mm -hmm. are causing electrical interference because of their height that will interfere with overclock. Well, it interferes with memory, memory um, overclocking. And, but primarily when you've got it boosted to higher frequencies, higher speeds, right? Right. So for the layman, it's not probably that big of a deal, but if you're going to overclock your Ram or whatever, this can cause um, quite a bit of, of interference to, uh, I want to find the, 40%. Oh, no, I wanted to find, I think it's 13%. I can't find the number here, but there's a, there's a percentage here that they said that improved it because he's really, really good at gathering so, that data. Huh. Yeah. Um, these are for your extreme overclockers. Like these yeah. are the situations for the guys that are pushing their, their boards absolutely to the razor edge of the limits not even to just use them on a daily. like when you go up one frequency and it crashes they'll yeah, take it back these, one you know these aren't these aren't people that run their boards like this daily these are the guys that are going for records and they'll clock it up as much as they can go for that run to get the to get their high score and they then they bring it back down to to normal just barely yeah this yeah. isn't like set it and forget it kind of overclocking so um asus has now come out with a new method a new clip interface for their motherboards um and this is going to be on the on a few of the asus 87 x 870es and z890 motherboards um and it's going to be it they're calling it a nitro path slot and um the, it's it changes a little bit of the way that the ram clips in to the motherboard hmm. reducing the height of the of the um, ran the clips the connectors it reduce it, it cuts those down um, I want to say by 40 percent or something like that uh, there's too many words on this page and I can't it's see the numbers 40, but yeah they're 40 percent yeah. shorter yeah 40 percent shorter and uh, and it it increased speeds uh, up to 400 mega MT transfers mega transfers per second per second yeah so wow. cutting so down on the harmful electric like I said, that's that's only noticeable when you're just going for the absolute tippy top tier of overclocking. Right. Your average person, if they're going to put us a light overclock on there, you would never notice. Do you think there will be transfers. any? I was going to say, do you think it'll maybe it'll look cooler? I don't know. No, this is this is purely the companies that, or I mean, the boards that Asus puts this on are going to be their absolute just top tier, like performance overbuilt performer boards like, for the people that want to overclock right. to their heart's content. So I, right, I, I couldn't even imagine how this guy came up with this. How he found that specifically, like yeah. he had to have been searching all of his motherboard and everything to find. Oh, it. Yeah. I think yeah, he had to be like yeah, he had to be in there with like a like something that detects that interference, something. just like a wand that beeped or yeah. Der he, Bauer, you know, he's the kind of guy that uh, his his overclocking and everything is so good, and he's so good at what he does that companies come to him to team up with him and tune their for some of their products for... to tune their systems hmm. yeah or to or even just to say like will you say this product is good so we can put your badge on it you know oh, right. does it yeah. meet or your brand. does it meet your standards 
so that we can put Derbauer on on this and yeah, uh, you I'll know put probably my attract... magic detector on it because that's yeah. what I made to make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> Something probably uses maths, you know, saying okay, I've got this frequency of RAM, and I'm not getting what the math is saying I should get out of it, and why is mm -hmm. that? And it's just track that, it, track sure. it backwards. He's that's a young cool. guy too. He's not like I've seen. I've watched his YouTube channel a few times. He looks like he's maybe in his like third, like young thirties, like. Mm -hmm. Boo! Yeah, Hope you fail, boo! He's just really, really good at what he does. <laughs> he's a legend in the in the overclocking community. That's crazy. But anyway, I, I thought it was pretty interesting that that uh, this ram the ram slots we've all been, have all been using have been producing some kind of interference, but not for us. I think it, the picture looks cool. The low profile, the, yeah. the low f profile clips on the board look pretty awesome. Asus is saying it's got a it's got a stronger connection actually. Um, like, you know, when you clip it onto the board, people are More like, well, pressure. if you, if you put that on there, it's going to make that Ram slot way more likely to break or whatever. And they're saying that it's actually a stronger connection. So yeah, 57% higher retention force. Mm -hmm. So, so interesting. 20% 20 improvement in lateral latching and release forces. So that's something I always worry about. With my motherboards is the lateral latching. The lateral latching, you're always yeah. like, mm, yep. Don't want to sacrifice that lateral latching. Uh, it's key. key. It's key for yeah. stuff. <laughs> All right. And then uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, oh, drone quiz. Are we, do, do you want to do the drone quiz? I'd be happy to do a drone okay, quiz. Okay, we'll to close find with the out drone quiz. Who knows the most about if they were to get a drone test? James? Quadri yeah. Or Owen. All right. Let's so, do this. These are actually practice test questions for the part 107 test that I thought would be good sample questions. If anybody out there is ever looking to do this, mm. it's a pain. <laughs> it's mm. a it's a pretty big pain. Use it. Yeah. And we got I'm the scoreboard at... ready. And okay. what we're gonna do, there we go. What we're gonna do, whoever wins out of you three will pick a number, and we're gonna give a prize to the Patreon users because nice. Somebody didn't appreciate the last prize as a panelist, did they, Landon? Was it Landon so, or Jaron? <laughs> it was Landon. Is it yep. still over there, Tony? Is it right there? It's right there. Did <laughs> he seed? Did he seed it to you, Tony? Yeah, Pretty and much. Uh, and I asked Jaron. Uh, no, he seeded it to Jaron because oh, Jaron's yeah. Jaron's the the Sega yeah. guy. You know, yeah, he grew up with right. Sega stuff. So, yeah. so here are the questions. Let me pull those up real quick, and we'll just jump right in. Like I said, these are directly from the part 107 test. So to start out, here's a fun one. If you fly your small drone, you observe a hot air balloon entering the area, you should, and these are all multiple choice, and I will let all of you take a pick, and I'll give you a point for each one right. You should, A, yield the right of way to the hot air balloon, B, Ensure the drone passes below, above, or ahead of the balloon. Or C, expect the hot air balloon to climb above your altitude. B. Common sense, I'm going with A. Because you want much a, more agile. Oh, I, thought it was, um, I thought it was multiple choice. Is it only A, B, C? There's no D? Like fly inside the balloon? You know, there's <laughs> still multiple. multiple and... three is I know multiple. it's multiple, but let's there's stick three with choices. the American standard some... <laughs> of four, A, B, C, D. I think Several that's is some seven. baloney. Okay, D, all the above, Owen. How's that? D. I choose I choose D. <laughs> you know what? If there's no fly inside the balloon, it's a wasted <laughs> test, but but I guess either it's either A or D. Pick the one. Is e. A. Jar I'm going to say Tony for, Owen. I'm going to say A. You get a point. It's A. Yeah. Yield right away. Cuz um, balloons can't cuz they're stupid. They, they, archaic. They, they only go wherever the wind's blowing. <laughs> they just go where, yeah. You can't yield yeah. the right of way to the wind. Go <laughs> figure it. I don't know the um, name of it, so I can't yield to the wind. Or it won't yield to, this to me. Contact Ooh, Patrick Rothfuss and tell him you've got the next name of his next book there. Yield yeah. to the wind. Yield to the wind. <laughs> so when a remote this test pilot... <laughs> <laughs> when a remote pilot reduces the intensity of an aircraft's lights during a night flight, or when may a remote pilot reduce its intensity? A, at no time may the lights of a drone be reduced in intensity at night b when a manned aircraft is in the vicinity or c when it is in the interest of safety to dim the aircraft's lights a I think it's a it's a I'm going, I'm going with c 
Tony's right. It was C. Ooh, Tony's Safety a drone first. operator. See, that's Safety why this first. test is a pain in the butt because it's kind of tricky, like questions like that. Mm. Um, I can't. Tray. You can't. Mm, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing about C2 is it completely leaves it open to the, fly, the, the pilot's judgment. Just like, mm -hmm. mm, now seems yep. dangerous. I'll dim it. <laughs> Let's go density altitude. What effect does high density altitude have on the efficiency of a drone propeller a propeller efficiency is increased b propeller efficiency is decreased or c density altitude does not affect propeller efficiency a I'm, increased b decreased or c doesn't do anything i'm going with decreases i'm going with increases <laughs> increases james density d more more air to move we'll thicker see. thicker air better propellers B decreased oh yeah tony screw you tony I hate it so much screw you tony so think about it <laughs> higher density air no is, no i hope you fall down is usually <laughs> thank you james if you <laughs> if concur. you watch uh, don't you hate it when they're right and just rub mm -hmm. it in your face with yeah no are, yeah even though they never well actually test. let me explain to you how the density of the airwaves <laughs> makes sense in a higher altitude as i say okay. it out loud as i say, as i was about <laughs> to say it yeah, I, hope you I realize bad. I might have not thought about it correctly in my uh, brain. Yep, it is. But you still got it right. I still got it right. Which is that's right. All, which is all part of the that's learning what, through the test. That's the joy of multiple choice. That's right. So, pre-flight inspection: the responsibility to inspect the drone to ensure it is in a safe operating condition rests with the a remote pilot in command. B, visual observer, or C, the owner of the small drone? A, operator in charge. Command, yep. Who should be all of those What did you say, James? People. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is it, this is like an Alec Baldwin type question right now, right? Um, oh, too soon. I'm going to say C. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Owen. Tony, sorry. I got a, a point. remote pilot in command. Point. So, I hope you forget how to read, Tony. <laughs> Here I, you never, go. I never knew how. This is a simple one. What is the percentage needed to pass the Part 107 test? Is it A, 100%, B, 80%, C, 70%? B. Uh, you said it's a pain in the butt, so I'm going to say 100%. No, I'm going with 80, B. You're all wrong. It's 70%. Is it, is it 70? Okay. It's that was still a pain. In you the have to be I the average decide. pilot in order to pass. <laughs> Get a C grade. Two. So, Tony, you're going to win. Um, yes. We'll yes. get a number from you and we'll make sure to get that um, Patreon listener and subscriber. And I'll reach out to you and get some info because you, you know how I roll. I like model kits. Oh, this someone's getting a model prize. kit. This Ooh. is an old Sega Virtual On robot game that was. I would have tried if I would have known that. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> you don't time. get it. A Patreon does. Yeah, it's a Patreon member. You would have get you just hit to choose the Patreon that it goes to. That would have hurt James, even more. I reached out to you years ago saying if you want a free Gundam kit, you can have it. But you know. What? Anyways. Oh, James didn't reply. Shut up, Tony. No. Oh, Interesting. So it didn't really reply for relevant. years. For past it. For this years. doesn't prove my point. I think that I think this settles a very old. I score think it does. With you. Yes, you it. it does a little bit. Uh, it super does doesn't. Bit. Uh, what's super that all doesn't. over? What's we should move past you? it. What's that all over your you face, go. James? You I, think it's oh, egg. Egg. I think it's oh, eggs. Egg. I will hook you up with any one of those whenever you want. How's that? <laughs> Actually, uh, to tell you the truth, I'm in between 3D prints, and I might print a Gundam thing because you made me think about it. Sweet. Okay. So how do I spell it? That was good and fun. It Lando say Gundam. Um, Damn! <laughs> so yeah, cool. this is really cool. It's actually really vintage and a lot of fun. And as a as a fun little treat, um, just for kicks and giggles, I had a tiebreaker question. You ready? Didn't need okay. it though because I already won. <laughs> I oh, can oh, this is he gets it wrong. I can come this within is worth one. It. <laughs> the week before, Lando's baseball privileges were undeniably revoked. How many actual words did he say in the Geek Show Arcade episode? <laughs> oh. Closest number wins, mind you, that my county isn't perfect. And two, the average person speaks between 110 to 115 words a minute. 
So oh, 1,546. No way. The week that I didn't, 35. I didn't ban. Yeah, the week that I didn't ban words. the uh, baseball, <laughs> I think he maybe said 86 words that whole episode. <laughs> 118 the whole episode. Good job. Uh, wow. That's what I mean. Did he self-implode? <laughs> he he sat there oh, and watched he's... baseball the whole time. Yep. <laughs> and you could totally tell when he like quickly tried to throw in comments. Mm -hmm. Was that during arcade or was that during help desk? It was arcade. Arcade. Two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. So. Unequivocally revoked. Love you, Landon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you can, if there's a sheet that just says how many Patreons and just throw out a number between those. That'll work. Sweet. Speaking of Patreon, it's time to uh, give a shout out to our Patreon backers. Patreon.com slash Helpdesk Arcade. And if you donate $6 a month or more, then you get a shout out on the air, which this week it's Owen's turn. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Don't think about how hard it is to read. Uh, well, so here's, here's don't the Don't think thing. about Mount Yeah, Hill, here it comes. Hill Hills. A couple, uh -oh. a couple weeks ago, <laughs> we told people to change their name, right? Because you can get Jaren to say whatever you want. Oh, and our oh. chicken's coming home to wow. roost. So, now, and I now, think that and was now. you that told people to do that <laughs> first. Exactly. Oh, that's uh, interesting. This is the most annoying part about my life. <laughs> is that the universe seems oh, this to have the one most of those part. F you in particular. Yay! So here you we go. Are... We're gonna start off with our super our, our super special tech daddies <laughs> uh, patrons here. We have Aaron Faulkner, David Broshinsky, Connor Kisa, and what do you call a cow with two legs? Your mom. <laughs> Boom! Roasted. They got me. You got me. Here we go with the rest, though. Oh. We've got Adam. We've got B, the eight year old. We've got uh, DP. Hold on. I'm gonna make what? Sure. That's yep. that, what was yep. that last one? Oh, nope. Nope. Phrasing. Nope. Phrasing. Did it double time. Uh, we've got Eric Cruz, Eric Steinman, Jason Eatman, Jeremy Keslow, Matt Nelson, Michael Shane, Mies Chonis. No mole climbs that can't be mountain killed over. No name, no color. Ryan Stuart Lloyd, the in between rating plus ten. Look at mm. that. The problem with society is meatballs is tasty. Tony, the home theater geek or Greek, if you're Jaren, because that's what he said last time. <laughs> I'm never gonna let that go. He's roasted me on so many emails to the point where I couldn't read emails anymore. Stay on so target. I have a Stay big. I can't oh, right. imagine Stay why. Stay on target. Uh, uh, Travis Johnson. The plot. <laughs> Right. Sorry. I've already ruined it. <laughs> Travis Johnson, by Geek Show Arcade, helped us stickers at Pie Man Graphic on Etsy. All proceeds go to Lee George Cade's medical bills. True King of Synthos and Wesley. The True Thank King you. of Synthos is Gary, by the way. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Patreon backers. You are awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, I hit the button. That's what I do now. Okay. Thanks for listening. Thanks for making it to the end. We sure appreciates you. And taking us out today, Lang, go for it. When you skip an episode to go watch a baseball game, you cheer for the Dodgers. Be an end user. <laughs>